I wanted to start off by uh, talking to you about a few uh, people that are a little more incredible humans than I am, unbelievably so. I'm, uh, uh, you know, contrary to popular belief. I want to read a quote, um, and Lynn, I'm going to get you to raise it up a little higher. Um, uh, Teddy Roosevelt is somebody that I've admired for uh, years and years and years, um, since the first time I read a book about him in, in high school or college. Um, obviously, an incredible leader. Um, and he did it his own way. And um, uh, this is my favorite quote of all of his, uh, but it, it tells quite the story. Um, uh, Teddy said, it's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how strong man stubble, stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena. I remember that, in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcomings but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Um, it's pretty powerful and direct, in-your-face kind of stuff, and Teddy was that kind of a leader. Uh, but the point is, get in the arena. Uh, you know, you can't stand by. Uh, leaders, leaders are in the arena and pushing the envelope all the time.